Have you ever seen these, uh, I guess they're COVID killing robots that go around, they, they can zap with ultraviolet light, anything that might hint of, of the coronavirus and any, anything else that might be bad. Well, the, the world's first residential building, and these are very impressive buildings, is going to be using this right now. Daniel uh, Gutsy is the, the Paramount Miami World Center uh, CEO, is the developer as well. Uh, Daniel, how will this work? Will this be for the entire facility, and, and how will you utilize it? So, uh, I mean, look, we're going to start zapping viruses. I mean, this is, uh, this is the world we live in today. And, and yes, I mean, look, Miami was a predominantly hot real estate market. Uh, we saw an uptick, you know, right after the shelter in place. Uh, and now, uh, you know, it became a bit of a hot spot for COVID, although it is, it is starting to dwindle. But uh, we, we had to react to it. And so we worked with this group called Light Strike. Uh, this is a great robot. Uh, we put the robot in the room in two minutes. It pretty much zaps, kills everything in it. It's got a 99.9% uh, effective rate. Uh, in essence, uh, kills everything in the room. It kills bacteria, kills viruses. It's been proven to kill COVID-19. Uh, we're using it throughout our public areas, uh, you know, through the uh, amenities, our gyms, our spas, and so forth. You know, you're, you're surrounded by very nice, um, very elegant buildings in that area. That's a big draw for a lot of people, a global destination. This is a distinction for you. And I'm wondering if people are responding to that and whether you're afraid some of your competitors then was like, wow, we need these COVID-19 killing things as well. Well, um, we're, you know, we'd like to be techno technologically advanced uh, compared to our competition. Uh, it is a bit of a co you know, competitive market, but our building has, is probably the most amenitized, it is the most amenitized building actually in Miami, probably in the U.S. We have over 46 different amenities. Uh, so, uh, you know, going in there and, and, and you know, confirming that the, there's cleanliness in, in the building. Uh, we have, you know, great cleaning protocol, but it's been proven even with cleaning, it doesn't capture, it doesn't get all the bacteria, it doesn't kill all the viruses. Uh, this was really a great solution. It's for our residents, future residents that want to come live, you know, live in Paramount, come move to Miami. We've seen, you know, we've seen an influx, you know, since, uh, since COVID-19. We've seen a lot of people from the north talking about moving down to Florida. Uh, uh, you know, the, Florida has become a hot market. Single family homes actually in Florida, you know, we've seen a, a kind of a robust demand, although it's in condos as right. well. Uh, and so uh, it's, it's important to make sure that, uh, you know, we're, we're staying firm to, you know, keeping our, our spaces you know, clean and adequate. How often would you use the robot? I mean, how would you tell those who might, uh, you know, buy in your building, all right, we're going to do this every month, every six months? Uh, what do you tell them? No, it's actually, it's a, it's a daily, uh, daily activity. Uh, we'll just go wow. space. I mean, people, I mean, the virus, imagine someone going to the gym, right? They want you want to know the next day, you know, you coming yeah. in that morning in the gym, you want to know that night. Uh, that, that gym was, uh, was zapped and, uh, and ready for, for working out. It only takes two minutes. You bring the robot in there. Uh, once you, you know, once you have the, uh, you know, the machine in your building, it's just a matter of moving it from space to space. It's two minutes of every space. I mean, in a matter of an hour, you could pretty much capture most of the building. Wild, wild stuff. Um, Daniel, thank you very much. Daniel Katsi, uh, taking advantage of this uh, at a time right now when a lot of people are leery of this, and this is a, a selling point in a, in a region that really doesn't need them, despite the spikes in cases we saw in southern Florida. Things have stabilized somewhat, so... Hope Springs Eternal that this on top of it will close the deal. We shall see.